Corrections must be made for the effects of mud cake and bore wall rugosity on tool position and gamma ray absorption. This is done by evaluating the differences in response between the close space detector, which senses primarily the bulk densities of the mud cake and bore wall irregularities, and the long space detector, which senses both of these plus the bulk density of the flushed formation. Before we leave gamma ray density tools, we need to examine their capabilities when configured for lithology density measurement. In this case, not only is the loss of gamma radiation through Compton scattering measured, but also the spectrum of gamma rays that results from photoelectric absorption. The effect of Compton scattering, as we saw in the calculation of conversion ratio, is directly dependent on the number of electrons present in the molecule. Photoelectric absorption is related to the atomic number Z of the elements encountered. Therefore, measurement of gamma ray energy and photoelectric range can lead to lithology identification. Service companies utilize an aluminum block for periodic master calibrations. The tool is placed in the block and a reading is taken. Certain count rates are recorded and can be reproduced at the well site. Further tests can be made by the insertion of different types of materials to alter the count rates. At the well site, field calibrators are utilized to make a check of these tools prior to logging. As usual, these records become a permanent part of the survey.